so today guys we are talking visa 491 for the state of new south Wales. that is the sydney the state capital of new south Wales is sydney okay that's sydney you know all right so they have recently released their requirement for visa 491 most of the time we talk about visa 491 visa 491 what is this visa this visa is like you know why you are not tied to any employer okay so you can come in with visa 491 it is a five years temporary visa you can call it a work visa or whatever you want but it is a work visa is a temporary visa it is five years okay so when you come with this visa in australia you can work for any employer so before i dive into it i just want to quickly tell you about the general process of visa 491 for many people that don't know about this visa okay so in this visa you'll be nominated by the state any state in australia or territory they do this visa okay so when you express your interest they will nominate you you will select a state to nominate you but before you go to the stage of expressing your interest for the visa the process is this first you meet the general requirement okay you talk about about age 45 you talk about having skill in the skill occupation list in australia you talk about doing your skill assessment you talk about you having your english requirements okay then you talk about other things so once you have your skill assessment you are one step into it so the first thing you must do here is after you have checked the requirement now you made the requirement you go and do your skill assessment i have a comprehensive video on how to do skill assessment okay depending on your occupation no matter what your occupation is once you watch this video that video i made you'll be able to find your occupation and your assessing authority and the process for your on skill assessment please go watch that video okay so in this video today i'm just going to concentrate on visa 491 for the state of new south wales okay five years visa you need skill assessment um, you, you need, need to be qualified you need skill assessment you need to express your interest and you need english for you to go for your visa however states will also have their own requirements but the state of new south Wales have said you do not need a job for you to come over so they have the pathway one and pathway two part a one is for people that have job history in the new south Wales, any town in new south Wales. however pathway two is for people that can come from overseas okay you do not need a job offer to come all right so in this video today we're going to explain the process because it is new it is like fresh from the oven okay so if this sounds like something you want to hear please sit back and let's dig in hi everyone welcome to my channel jane kimmy's creation where we keep it true my name is jane and i live in australia all right thank you my subscribers you guys rock if you are new here please do subscribe to my channel and become a member of this beautiful family where we keep it real authentic okay all right let's continue okay so i'm going to take you to the website of the state of new south Wales and show you the process however the comprehensive plan for this visa is that you must follow the process meet the first requirements of the federal requirement and then meet the requirements of the new south Wales, the state of new south Wales. every other uh, state and territory run this visa but their requirements differ so each state that said we do not need job offer we always run to this state because some people struggle to get a job so this is an alternative okay please i want to say when you come to australia with the visa 491 you are not tied to any employer you can have your employer and you can dismiss your employer Dismiss your employer anytime you are not tied to any employer. Like sack, sack, sack your employer. Okay. So After three years, you apply for PR. PR. However, you must meet certain uh, um financial um requirements. Like you must earn certain amount for I think it's about fifty five thousand Australian dollar, which is you can even work for more than one employer. Two, three. You're not a student. Okay. You can do anything you want. You can make that money. So you are not tied to any employer. What does that mean? Get any job. Quit any job keep going okay <laughs> all right so let me take you to the website let's go welcome to the site the website of immigration new south Wales, a state in australia okay visa 491 is skilled work regional visa okay five years visa allow you to stay and work in australia for five years three years you go for your peer 
as mentioned before, the state of New South Wales has two pathways. The first pathway is for people that have job experience in New South Wales. And pathway two is for anybody from anywhere. You will be invited to apply when you express your interest. The first requirement is that you must meet visa eligibility criteria. Okay, so this regards to federal requirement for visa 491 second one is that you must do skill assessment have a positive skill assessment then you have eligible skill in the occupation list another one is that you must be living in new south wales in the last three months before you apply or living offshore anywhere in the world in the last three months before you apply all right for the federal eligibility you must be invited to apply and have occupation in the relevant occupation list, have a suitable skill assessment, and also invited to apply and satisfy the point test. Point test is probably 65 and above. You must score 65 and above. And the score, um, you can test your scores online. So there'll be score for your age, your qualification, your experience, and so on. All right, let's go back to New South Wales website. Okay, so this is important information for you to apply for expression of instruments, EOI. Okay, so your EOI must remain valid. I think it has to be uh, expired after two years. So if you haven't been invited and it's about to expire like three months before it expires, please go and renew it, re apply also you can amend your expression of interest but once you are invited to apply whether on that part where one or two you cannot amend it anymore okay so you must actually be applying for visa 491 not any other visa and there is evidence that the whatever you are claiming that you have it okay there is a guideline there on how to claim your employment proof of employment okay so you follow the guidelines. All right, so these are the key steps to follow for nomination, okay? Check if you're eligible. We have mentioned the eligibility criteria, okay? Submit your expression of interest, then nominate New South Wales, okay? You apply for nomination. You select New South Wales to nominate you. Then you wait for your nomination. Okay, so that's the step four. Pathway one, let's go to pathway two, which is for offshore applicants. Okay, so it's the same like check your eligibility, submit your expression of interest. So you submit your expression of interest, then you also do your nomination, then you'll be invited to apply before you go and apply. Once you are nominated, you will be invited to apply. You must do your application within 14 days. Okay. All right, for pathway two, you need to know this, the timing. There is no particular time. Invitation round would be going on throughout the year. Okay, for you to be selected by New South Wales, they look at your point, your English language proficiency, skill assessment, and so on, okay? They have a target sector, which I am going to mention here today, okay? So the decision to nominate you or not to nominate you depends on New South Wales, okay? Your submission date does not affect the day you are going to be nominated to apply. So you can submit anytime. So the state of New South Wales has mentioned that they have target sectors. Okay. So the target sector is healthcare. I know it's always there. There is education. There's ICT, infrastructure, agriculture. Okay. So if you belong to any of this um, section or, or set of occupation, then there is a high chance you'll be nominated to apply and we will welcome you to australia okay all right so check your requirements now you know how to apply why not try okay thank you and i will see you in my next video do like my video and subscribe and become a member like and share thank you bye